Hi guys, welcome to Buff Nerf Repeat. Uh, today we're looking at the Pro Evo 2019 demo. i uh, going to have a game, show you the demo, show you how it plays and give you our first impressions as we play it. As always with Pro Evo, the demos never change much. They're not great. Yeah, we're sure. We don't need to accept the terms of use. Who cares about them? And we're going to play Exhibition. We've already set up the controls and the camera, we're playing on dynamic wide, we're playing um, with X's shoot, um, right trigger as dash, etc, etc. Uh, there's 12 teams in the demo, I think it's 12. Barcelona, Schalke, Liverpool, Inter Milan, AC Milan, Monaco, Sao Paulo, Flamengo, Palmeiras, Colo Colo, Argentina and France. You'll note that every team in the demo is licensed, that obviously will not be the case in the full game. Match time set to five minutes, so it's not going to be a long match. Um, but you'll watch it in full. Uh, we're playing on top player. I normally play on superstar, but I'm on camera and I don't want to be embarrassed. If we look at gameplay, you'll notice this is all very similar, but all very familiar. You can still do all this. You can still edit um, your tactics, your, your formation. You can change possession game, counter attack, etc. etc. We're going to leave everything on standard um, just for now. Um, but yeah, you, you can change everything you want. Frontline pressure, all that defence. You know, frontline pressure aggressive, that's the Barcelona way, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play a possession game. Positioning, maintain formation, I think they're a bit more free flowing, so let's stick on flexible for Barca, I think. Uh, the game database is out of date, by the way, you can see Iniesta's playing there. Um, obviously, that'll be fixed for the full game. And we're playing in Camp Nou at night, so it'll look lovely. Obviously the big debate is always, we're getting to that time of year, Pro Evo or FIFA. Um, Pro Evo used to be miles ahead, it's, it's not had the licenses, it is an issue. Um, Pro Evo was always miles ahead on the pitch, which always made it my game of choice. But since about 09, 10, FIFA caught up on the pitch and had the licenses as well, became more of the complete package. That tends to be the case now. Um, I still think Pro Evo is normally ahead on the pitch, but FIFA offers you everything, so... There are obviously the purists though that will still say it's on the pitch where it matters. As you can see straight away, it looks gorgeous. The pitch looks great, the stadium looks great. The player likenesses are great as well. You know the lighting effects there, the sound. It's it's perfect. Do a problem prove we've got this year, of course, if they'd lost the license for the Champions League, FIFA have got that. So it's another another sting. I mean look at the play likenesses there, they, they, they all look spot on pretty much. <clears throat> I'll let all this play through so you can just see how it all leads up to a match doesn't affect much really but again there that looks that looks beautiful one thing you'll notice obviously the lightnesses are great even the way that the players play is still second to none the way that they move the way that they pass anyone with a distinctive movement style you'll spot them straight away Still get your power bar for the passing, allows you to pass short, slow or quick. PK's one here, watch this distinctive pass, see his body shape, spot on. The way that the ball moves about the pitch is great. Unless you do that. The AI seems to be really good, they play some really good football. My defending is not really good. You 
see now the iconic Mo Salah celebration really good authenticity the, the blades of grass you can see every blade of grass there which is great I think graphically this is spot on it's good football there from the AI maybe the keeper should have saved it would to stay and save that probably not goalkeepers are one thing that I find football games have really struggled to get right they're either too good or awful fumbling a lot so it's one thing to always keep an eye on close in to watch I, I haven't noticed anything too bad on this so far you know they've for the most part save what they should save let in what you would expect to go in bit soft okay adjust the direction using left stick press S to shoot press another more power shot and kill one. okay okay I haven't taken a free kick on this yet so let's see how it goes I am using Lionel Messi so it's the best person I could be using oh that looks like too much power and it is Okay, so one free kick, one miss by a country mile. <laughs> See the line there still on the pitch from where the wall is um, and the, from where the ball was here. plays, um, if you're comparing it to FIFA, a much slower game. It's like more of a simulation than FIFA is. FIFA's got a more arcadey style. This feels quite slow to me. Whether that's good or bad is another thing. Obviously, a game like Liverpool-Barcelona, you would expect to be played at quite a frantic pace. Especially with the current Liverpool team under Klopp. So, to whether that is... Oh, some people will find this game too slow I think oh I thought he'd given a penalty then ok that's pretty straightforward we're going to go short because we're Barcelona and we don't hoof it up long Oh, that's, the animation on that turn was lovely then. <clears throat> Not the best pass I've ever done. Coming up for half time. We've not had a shot yet. <laughs> I'd love to show you what the shooting's like, but I haven't had a shot, so I can't. Half time, okay, and we're losing, not great, but hopefully better in the second half. Playing a great game of football though, a bit slow, passing's really good, the player animations are great, the graphics are great. The AI is good. seen a lot of people saying that a lot of goals are scored or conceded from out wide <laughs> and as I'm saying it, it happens that could be an issue I don't know whether that's because it's happening too often or because I'm not good enough at defending but again a ball from out wide you know I mean my play there should, you know it, it did look too easy to me that's something we'll have to judge. We're going to play it more um, and see 
if that happens too often. Because we don't want it to, obviously. Obviously, goals do get scored from out wide quite often, but we don't want it to be all the time. Guaranteed goal from out wide. We'll try ourselves here. Let's try cross. Okay, so he's, he saved it straight at him. He should save it, and he did. He didn't fumble it, which is good, because keepers often do ridiculous things on football games. But we did get a free header. We're going to try another one here. Let's see what happens. have to say, it's probably the best looking football game I've ever played. I don't want to keep bragging on that graphics, but it does look great. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good tackle. I thought I was going to get a shot off there. I still haven't had a shot from open play, I don't think. Oh, apart from that header. So you can use left and right on the D-pad to open a strategy window to instruct your team. Let's have a look what that does. Yeah, same as always. Um, I'm going to crowd the six-yard box a little bit. Cause some havoc on the keeper. Dreadful. The AI is really good. Obviously, this is on um, top player, which is the second highest difficulty you can go to superstar. I would imagine this is going to play a really good game offline because they seem to adapt what they're doing. You know, when you play FIFA, a lot of the games are um, all the same against the AI. Um, they seem to play in a set way, and and it does get to the point where every game's the same. But I think this will be. Um, a lot more varied so I would probably say obviously we're yet to play FIFA but FIFA if it plays a good game of football is likely to be the better option if you're playing online it will give you a complete package all the licenses and all the better options for online play if you're just playing offline this looks great it plays a great game of football I will imagine this will be the way to go uh, but we'll see um, we'll give our recommendation of which one we think superior when we've played FIFA um, but for now other than the question mark over the licenses again and you know is it becoming a real issue now for Prevo? I imagine it is that's the only question mark over this game for me as for the game of football it plays on the pitch how it looks how it plays so far so good for Prevo. okay thanks very much for watching we'll catch you next time